Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Informatica Master Data Management Delta Detection. In this demo, we will configure the delta detection and we will also identify the underlying metadata table responsible for this. So, what does the delta detection do? The delta detection will ensure that only the changed values are loaded from the landing table into the staging tables. When it comes to the usage and management, the hub configurators would have to identify the columns to compare between the landing and the staging tables to identify what has changed. This could usually be the last updated date or the column values themselves or all the columns that are taking part in the mappings. The second thing is that the landing table needs to provide all the data. Then the state job will only perform the delta detection based on all the data. This means that there are two options where you have to enable delta detection. The first one is in the landing table itself. The second one is in the staging table. Let's take a look at the demo where I can show you the options responsible for delta detection. Since delta detection is enabled at the staging table level, let's take a look at an example here. So I logged into my MDM hub and we'll take a look at the party base object. In the party base object, we have the ODI party staging table. And in this staging table, the delta detection option is not enabled yet. Before we enable this option, let's take a look at the corresponding landing table to see if the landing table gives the entire data set and not just the differential data. So to do that, let's go into the mappings where we use the ODI party as a target. This is the mapping where the ODI party is being used as the target and the corresponding landing table for this is the org data inc tree. So let's go back and take a look at the landing table. So here is the landing table we are looking for and yes this staging table sorry this landing table gives us the entire data set which is why this checkbox is enabled. Then we can go back into the staging table and we can enable the delta detection. And once we do that, we can compare individual columns here or we could choose all the columns within the mapping or maybe just the date column. So we have the option to select one of these. In this case, I'll go with comparing all the columns within the mapping and I'll also allow staging if a prior duplicate was rejected. And if I do a save here, a metadata table will be created inside the repository. And this metadata table will have an extension of underscore PRL towards the end. So we could simply log into the SQL developer and take a look at the staging table's name, CSGODI party. So So here is the staging table. And here is the staging table. So here is the metadata table responsible for the delta detection. So the next time when a stage happens, MDM will make a copy of that, all the data into the PRL table. And the PRL table will be compared with the landing table to identify the differential data. If differential data is found, then it is pushed into the staging table.
So coming back to the MDM hub here. Now sometimes this settings tab will be disabled. This is because no mapping exists which uses the staging table as a target. So in other words, you need to have a mapping to configure the delta detection and the raw settings. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.